Okay, I'm going to write a program where I'm going to change the colors of my fields in my DB grid. First, I'm gonna set up my edit table. data source and then my DB grid I already created my folder DB grid Here's my music database. So I'm gonna copy and paste it in the same folder as my project just to make the connection setup easier. The database extension is MDB. So I'm going to use Microsoft Jet 4. Okay, connection succeeded. Table name. Let's use the CD table data source. Let's make our table active. So replacement values and owner IDs. Okay, let's first change just the basically all the colors. So I'm gonna select select my DB grid. I'm gonna go to event and I'm going to go to draw column cell. I'm gonna say DB grid one canvas dot font first I'm gonna change the font I'm gonna change it to color yellow So first I must say DB grid DB grid one default default draw column cell one here default draw come cell okay let's test it again Okay, so now it's a very ugly yellow. Okay, so let's change the background color of the DB grid. So I'm going to say DB grid one dot canvas dot color what, brush dot color. Let's make it CL maroon. Uh, 
Okay, so now the font is yellow and the background color is maroon. So maybe what you can do is you can use an if statement here. Say so if added table one, let's say the replacement value. replacement value it looks great if that value is bigger than 120 you can maybe make the font color yellow and the brush color maroon if I add a table I do table one. Okay, so now only if that replacement value is bigger than 120, it will change the color of the record and the font. So you can customize it so that you can maybe change the color if it's below 20. Let's say you can put in an else. If it's below 120, you can make it a different color. Or you can categorize it in a high alert if value is very high or when a value is very low. Maybe a green if it's low, yellow when it's medium and red when it's high depending on your content inside your table. You can also do this with the added queries. So it's not only for added tables, you can use it for added, added queries as well. And this example is only for added table, but it will basically work exactly the same way with, a, with an added query.